Good morning guys and welcome to day two of the Florida adventure. Today we're not going to go out for breakfast like we were talking about yesterday. We're going to have some cereal and some toast in the hotel room. Today also we're going to go shopping to some big outlets and I'll show you a bit more around the hotel and the room and all that type of things. And then tonight we're going to the worst thing that I don't actually want to go to which is the horror night so I'll show you all around that. But for now let's have some breakfast and let's have a look a little bit more around the hotel room. So we've just got off the IHOP at the Orlando uh, Premium Outlet Store. I think all the girls are gonna go off and do their own shopping and then us three guys, I think we're just gonna go and do our own thing. Shopping done, we're now off to Universal for the first time since we've been here and it's for the horror nights which is not something I'm actually looking forward to. Okay, so we've made it inside Universal for the horror night and we're going to our first horror show. Apparently there's like 10 different venues that you can go in and experience the different type of things. Obviously the Stranger Things one has like a, I think it was 115 minute wait. The one we're going to now has just a 30 minute wait so it'll be much quicker and then we'll see what it's like inside the first uh, room. First one done. It was actually quite scary. It was really good fun actually because you don't really know when anyone's actually going to jump out with or on you. Everybody was screaming, everyone was laughing and Holly wasn't actually looking at all. She had her eyes closed and she was holding on to the person in front of her. The only thing was we weren't allowed to take our cameras in so I can't really show you inside any of the events or attractions or whatever you want to call them. But as we go around you'll get to see more of the other bits that's going on in the park and you get to see some of the roller coasters that's happening on this horror night or our first night at Universal.
Second one done. That was definitely much better than the first one. I've not seen so many people suddenly totally turn back and run back the other way to be told that they need to keep moving forwards. So the house of a thousand, um, whatever it was called, was definitely the best one we've done yet. The worst part now is it's actually getting darker, which is starting to make this whole place a little bit more scarier. So let's move on to the next one and see what that's like too. We've done our final one for the night. That's four in total we've done. We're gonna redo the other ones next time we come. But I'm still gonna go with that with the second one was the scariest one we've done so far. The last one we just did, we just had to wait about 40 minutes to queue up and go through it. And it was quite fun, but definitely gonna go with the second one as the scariest one. We're gonna make our way back now to the bus. Um, and then you can see how scary it is at night time with all the other things that are going on around the park. So we've decided to stop at Moe's to get some food. It's really class, the pub. It actually looks like Moe's from The Simpsons itself. But if you walk through, then you come to this other food court where there's a load of other stuff. So we'll get some food from here.
So a perfect way to end the first two days here in Florida. It's been really fun the last two days. We've done SeaWorld yesterday, we've done some shopping today, and then we we'll finish off with our first part of the Horror Nights. We're gonna come back here in the next couple of days, but I'm gonna end the vlog there, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.